honored to receive the endorsement of New Jersey League of Conservation Voters. You know, LCV does such important work, as you all know, across the country to protect our water, our air, and all of our natural resources. And I'm very proud to partner with them and to have you here and, and to represent so many families in our district about the issues and the environment they care about. Overall, when it comes to dangerous chemicals in our water, and I'm saying this as a parent, and I know all the parents here feel exactly the same way I do, we need smart testing and strong protection. We just can't afford to look the other way and leave it to hope and chance, as my opponent Scott Garrett has done for the 13 years he has spent in Washington, representing the key party, not our children and families here in northern New Jersey. And frankly, when it comes to protecting our children and families from lead and other chemicals in our drinking water, Garrett's record is nothing but toxic. Simply put, Scott Garrett has the distinction of holding one of the worst environmental records in all of Congress. It's not just that he denies the existence of climate change, right? He does not believe in climate change and global warming. He said, quote, I think the science is still out on that. But look at his record, vote after vote. I'm going to give you a quick sampling of his Tea Party record on these issues because it's remarkable. In January 20, 2016, Garrett voted for a resolution to permanently block the EPA and the Army Corps' clean water rule. In 2015, Garrett voted against legislation to help prevent contamination of groundwater that would have helped protect our water sources. That year, he also voted against requiring hazardous waste sites to follow groundwater monitoring standards, and he voted against protections for America's water waterways that would actually help ensure safe drinking water. In 2011, a banner anti-environmental year for him, Garrett voted for a bill which would have undermined the Clean Water Act by removing EPA's ability to actually enforce the, the Clean Water Act on the, the books. And then he voted to block standards to reduce emissions of pollutants from coal-fired plants that the Environmental Standard, the Environmental Protection Agency, set. In 2011, a couple years before, Garrett also voted to discontinue the EPA's ability to regulate pollutants in our drinking water. In 2007, he voted against a bill to prevent clean air laws from being rolled back to protect polluters. In 2005, you can see the consistency here, he voted against a measure to prevent the producers of gasoline additive MTBE, another known carcinogen, from being held accountable for contaminated drinking waters. I think you get my point. After 13 years in Washington, the environmental groups, people who protect and stand up to protect our water and the health of our children, they, the LCV, as mentioned, gave him a lifetime score so far of 9%. That's the highest he's gotten. He got a big 0% lifetime score from the Clean Water Action for his consistent record opposing safeguards for the water we drink. The Environment America gave him a zero. The Sierra Club, which we all know, gave him a zero on his clean water record. Zero after zero. Because when I'm in Congress, I'm going to be a problem solver who's willing to work across the aisle to bring together to solve problems like these and to get things done for us in New Jersey. I'm going to be on the front lines for you to protect the health and safety of our children. So thank you so much for being here today, and have a great day.